So a lot of you are asking me how how to what? Yes, so I will answer the question this year. But before that, guys, if you are not subscribed to my YouTube channel, I want you to do just that. It is not cool if you are just coming to my channel and then you watch my videos, you learn from it and then just leave. Alright, so YouTube is telling me that uh, even a larger percent of people watching my tutorials are not my subscribers. Okay, more than 50% of those watching my videos have not subscribed to this YouTube channel. So if you are one of them, just subscribe. Subscription is free, totally free. They will not charge you any cobble, it's free. Okay, now go to the question. Uh, look at the gallery I just select. Okay, look at the icon, look at the name. Okay, that's gallery. Now, I noticed some things from uh, most of you guys' work. Okay, now go to the list. Um, okay, now let me open this ketchup. Alright, so this is a self art. You save your picture directly from your sketchbook. If you check the format, we are come to properties. Come to format, you see sketch 166966103295.png and then the storage part and then the size and then the resolution which is 2781 times 4000 that is 11.1 mp okay so that's the real quality that is 11.1 mp okay and then the last modified good now if i should come to uh let me see if i should come to lightroom because this is the confusion of so many people and then i come to to this work okay and i click on properties now 11.1 mp is still the quality but look at the name sketch 166946451025.8. jpg now we have always known something that anything that has png at the back must be a transparent background but obviously this is not transparent now permit me to check through this also this is not transparent but yet it is png so anything whatsoever you uh, let me check this sketch also anything whatsoever whatsoever that you uh, that uh, you save from your sketchbook will be png so i've just showed you how you can change the name from sketchbook but yet it's still going to add this png because that's just sketchbook now if you want to edit it now you can download this gallery version from my from my uh, telegram channel I'll click on this three dots and I'll click on I can decide to click on edit or rename okay you are still going to achieve the same thing but uh, I think I prefer to click on this edit okay rather to rename and then I click on this check mark I will not change anything on it just click on the check mark okay so you can see the extension is writing PNG so I can decide to change it to P jpg rather so it's still writing the file name but it add one to hit so i can decide to say okay i just want to clear off all the name and then i want to hard see some okay and then i click on okay so allow it save save good so um now let it load up again so i want to show the difference between the two now this is it and this is the other one now this one of png if you post it on whatsapp you will discover your sketch will be breaking but this one if you post it on whatsapp the sketch will not break now let us come and look at this as obvious as uh, it is the sketch is too tidy okay now if i want to post this on whatsapp i will have to come to my edit okay and then i'll come to the extension all right so by clicking on that uh, on this check mark upward there okay so i'll click on it and then I'll come to the extension and then I'll uh, insert JPG. Okay, so I can decide to change the name of this to the owner of the work. Okay, yeah, so I'll click on OK. Yes, so allow it to load up again and then you see this. Now, check this very well. Check it very well. You know, they are not side by side. Check it very well. Okay, now and let us come back to this. You see the difference. So if you put this on WhatsApp, it will be breaking. But if you post this, it will not break. Even if it wants to break, it will rather compress it a little. Okay, it will not break as if it is this uh, uh, PNG one that you post. Okay, so that's how you can change extension. And also, if you don't want to go with it, this is PNG format. I'll just click on this share icon. Okay, and then we can use a uh, um, uh, Pixlab. Okay, 
we can use that to change extension to change formats so i'm using pixlab pro so you can use any pixlab whatsoever all right but you know we love diversity so that's why i'm using this right now so i click on ok i mean that check mark now i'll click on share and now it's still putting my format here as png which is also the extension and then i'll put it on jpg no transparency and then from this default i put it on ultra so that it will go back with even more quality or the same quality of the picture okay so it's saving and then i think it's saved now so let me go back to my gallery okay yes yes okay so this is my pixel here yes so let me open it up so the extension will also change from jpg i mean from png to jpg and if you don't want to do all of that we have app that we call um uh what is it called again okay just let me show you from here i don't want to start sliding through my apps okay um we have this i want to show you one yeah we can use this pixel pro Okay, it's very very useful. We can use Pixel Pro. If you use Revit, it's going to change, but no, no, no. Just use Pixel Pro or you use your Snapseed. So I'll be giving that guys that assignment. Use either of this Pixel Pro or Snapseed to change your extension, or if you decide to call it format, to change it to for, from uh, PNG to JPG. Okay. So thank you guys for watching this tutorials. I really appreciate you guys. Please, like I said earlier on, YouTube is complaining that 50 more than 50 percent of those that are watching my videos on YouTube. And not my subscribers so please i want you to subscribe so that youtube will no longer disturb me thank you guys